Paul Kangor, who's a uh, political science professor, good friend of the uh, program, also the author of the book The Devil and Karl Marx, which is a must read. It is a must read. Um, he is um, he covered in the American Spectator the Pennsylvania bombshell Biden 99.4 percent versus Trump 0.6 percent of the vote. Welcome to the uh, program, Paul. How are you? Oh, I, I guess I'm all right, Glenn, but uh, this is just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So, Paul, help us help us separate fact from fiction, because honestly, I don't know who to trust anymore. You're not you're just getting a vacuum uh, on the other side. When they try to debunk it, they'll just say uh, there's that that's a conspiracy theory. Well, wait, can you can you help me with the facts? Debunk it with facts. Um, I don't even know what happened in uh, in Gettysburg. I mean, I do, but I don't know everything I should know about Gettysburg because no one covered it except for a few people on the right. Yep. So that's, that's exactly right. Yeah. And, 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 and you feel like I do. And in fact, so it, it was last Wednesday, so it would have been Thanksgiving Eve. And yep. I'm emailing with different friends. And one of them who watches this stuff very closely told me, said, hey, you got to tune in and watch these hearings in Gettysburg. And, and so, I, so I clicked the link, and, and it went on for about four hours. And then later on in the evening, I tried to see if I could get a news roundup of what happened. I turned on Fox, and, and I turned on – th- they had substitute hosts for, for Tucker, for Laura, and for Sean. I think Mark Stein was in for Tucker, I think. He was uh, you know, talking about Thanksgiving, and they, yeah. <laughs> they, none, none of it, none of this was covered. I turned on Newsmax, and I think Greg Kelly covered it, and covered it, meaning this exchange between this is in, this is incredible, Glenn, be, be, between re, uh, retired Colonel Phil Waldron, he's a former combat officer, he has a background in Army information, electronic warfare. And he's having this exchange with Rudy Giuliani. They're both there before the Senate Majority Policy Committee for the state of Pennsylvania. So it's basically uh, a Pennsylvania Republicans legislature, and they're holding this hearing on the election, and it's at the Wyndham Hotel in Gettysburg. Okay, stop for for a second right there. Yeah, yeah. Why was this at the Wyndham Hotel in Gettysburg? (laughs) Right. Of of all places, I know. Why, Why is it not being held in the Capitol building? Correct. Uh, and, and I mean, so I know, and I know right off, so liberals are going to say, oh, this is a partisan hearing, right? Democrats aren't even part of it. And I've already seen in reaction to the article people saying, oh, well, Rudy Giuliani was there, so I don't believe any of it, right? It, it, but but you, got to, you have to look at what the, the expert said. And what the expert said, I had to go find this online and, and produce my own transcript. I know. Because me, <laughs> me too. I know. I know. It took, it took me like 45 minutes making sure I had every single word right, you know, every single possessive right, exclamation mark. And, and I went through it. And what Waldron said, he claimed that within a, about 90 minutes, that at, at some point here in the, in the tabulation of the vote after November 3rd, there were 604,000 votes that came in. In fact, the, the number that he says in the exchange with Rudy, and, 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 and Waldron testifies, and then Rudy kind of cross examines says, I'd like to ask this man some questions. And so we asked him, and, and, and he, Waldron said that there were 570,000 votes for Biden in one batch and 3,200 for Trump. 570,000 for Biden versus 3,200 for Trump. And what, when he says this, Glenn, you can hear an audio oh, I know. gasp. Do we have that? Uh, hang on just a second. I think I have that audio. Let's play that yeah. audio where, where he is talking about this. When we look at this uh, Pennsylvania fixing the vote chart that they all have, could you explain at the very beginning what that line means, Biden injection? So at the very, the very beginning of the, uh, the chart where there's a circle that says on election day, uh, what that indicates is there is a spike in uh, loaded votes, uh, uh, 337,000 plus or minus of some votes that were added in there in one big batch. So that was uh, an anomaly in the reporting. Normally you would expect to see a smooth curve going up, not any... Uh, not any big big spikes. Uh, that's kind of what uh, what Greg was talking about the the anomalies of loading and uh, uploading those uh, those votes. 
So that big spike that uh, occurs there is a prime indicator of fraudulent voting. And that's 604,000 votes in 90 minutes, is that right? Correct, this is uh, 300 and, uh, 337 votes, 337,000 votes in that, uh, that, in that period of time. Yes. And when you look at this entire curve, with all these spikes, can you calculate how, how, how much of a vote that accounted for for Biden and how much for Trump? Close to 600,000. I think our, our figures were about 570 some odd thousand that uh, all those spikes represent over time. For Biden? Correct. And how much for Trump? I think it was a little over 3,200. <laughs> that was the reaction from the people who heard that. That was my reaction too. 570,000 votes for Biden in one batch and 3,200 for Donald Trump? It's amazing. It's amazing. And, and look, I, I, I went to bed on the night of the election, Tuesday night, I guess it had been Wednesday morning, probably about 2 or 3 a.m., and Donald Trump was up in Pennsylvania by at least 600,000 votes. Mm-hmm. And in fact, I want to say 700,000. I think I remember the percentage being like 58 to 41%. And, and I was texting with, with my brother, who lives in eastern PA. I live in western PA. And, and I, I said, well, well, Trump's got this. And he said, oh, I, I, I don't know. you got to watch out and see what happens in Philadelphia. And, and I said, 600,000 votes? There's no way you could overcome 600,000 votes. I mean, maybe it's possible that Trump could maybe still lose Wisconsin, Michigan. But 600,000 in Pennsylvania? I, I, there, there, there's, just, there's just no way. And then over the next three or four days, the impossible or implausible or unbelievable seem to transpire. I mean, how can you lose 600,000 votes? Well, if, if this is accurate, that in one batch of votes, it was 570,000 to 3,200. I mean, in one fell swoop, you could do it right there. And, and so I, I watched this, I saw this, and you know, like, like you, I mean, I don't ever want to be accused of dabbling in conspiracy theory and so forth, but but, but you're, you're, the next day, I, I went online and I went to all the I did Google searches. I went to DuckDuckGo. I looked, did all these online searches to see if anybody reported this. And nobody reported it. I, I found it at Real Clear Politics. I found it at Breitbart. And I think that was it. I, 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 mean, I could even find Glenn Pennsylvania sources. You know, the Philadelphia paper, the Harrisburg Patriot News, the, you know, the Pittsburgh papers. I couldn't find anyone who even reported on it. And I just want to know, is it accurate? This is, uh, this, is yeah. the, this is the problem, Paul, is by them not covering it, it only makes people's spider senses go higher. It, it only makes people think there is something here. Right. Why, why is no one covering This is news and you should cover it and it should have coverage on all sides and you you argue it out uh in the in the coverage you show us the facts that they present and you show us the facts that some other guy presents and you let the american people figure it out but that's not happening anymore which only makes things worse for the american populace yeah, it does. And, and, and this, this uh, retired Colonel Waldron who testified, I mean, the guy is no political hack. He's not a partisan. He doesn't seem to have any axe to grind here. And, and this is just stunning.